Hey guys, welcome back to Nyx Reads. Today we're going to reorganize my bookshelf. If you love any kind of bookish content, be it hauls, reviews, TBRs, and any kind of book recommendations, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to start with a quick overview of how the bookshelf looks like right now. Please note, these are the books that I have accumulated since I think 2018-ish when I moved to Canada. So the books that I read in my childhood and my youth, they're still all in my bookshelves in Germany at my parents' place. So this is kind of, this is a fairly new collection, I would say. This is an overview of the corner that this IKEA bookshelf stands in. It started out super color coordinated, but as I started to get more board games and got new books from halls, it just kind of went downhill. And I suspect that I'll have to move these two baskets away to a new home because I have too many books now. And I think I can finally fill this whole shelf. audiobook that I've been listening to while organizing. It's The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. It's okay so far. And now I'm actually going to look up some inspo on Pinterest to decide in what order of color they're going to go back on the shelves behind me. And before I had them sorted by size, so the largest books on the sides of the bookshelf, and as you go in the books get smaller, but I think this time Within the color, I'm going to sort the books by the author's last name alphabetically, just so it doesn't look too neat. This one looks pretty cool. So it starts with red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and dark. Isn't that the colors of the rainbow? That's a bit different because before I had white on top, but I think it would be kind of cool to start out with um, the red color. Then here's a variation where you have the blue colors first instead of yellow after the red. First I was debating to do something like this, but then I decided it's probably going to look a bit messy on my own bookshelf and I only have one. Let's look up the rainbow color order. <laughs> yeah, so it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet which in my case, I'm going to end it with black darkish.
just finished the black dark books and I still have a bit of row here in the end which is good which means I still have a bit of room to grow before I have to buy a new bookshelf but it also means that I can space out the books above to put some of the decorations and trinkets back in. The trinkets that I left in the bookcase are this candle here between red and pink and these stones that are from Iceland. Then this candle here between yellow and white, which smells like vanilla bean, and just lift this glass dome and sniff the dome to smell out the candle without sticking your nose in it, which I always thought it looked cute. And this little tree here, which is a German mini Maibaum, and some of these acorns that I think my sister actually took home. And I almost forgot the little mermaid here that I got from Amazon, which is super cute, which I always keep with the blue books. I just finished doing the last touches to the bookshelf and I'm gonna show you the end result now. make a huge difference for filming because I'm going to be sitting still in front of the darker books but now that I think about it you're probably going to see a bit more of the blue books than the black ones when I do my normal sit down and talk videos. Let me know if you've also color coded your books at home and maybe you also have a bookshelf tour up on your channel. Don't forget to let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like bookish content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!